If you don't want to spend eternity creating materials for your projects, then you are thinking the right way. Because thousands of artists agree with you. So in today's video, we're going to show you guys some of the best Blender add-ons that will provide you with high quality materials and textures that are practically worth thousands of dollars of your own time and effort. But before we continue, I want to remind you guys that we are going through Black Friday to Cyber Monday sales. So this is a great opportunity to get yourself some of the best Blender add-ons, courses, shaders, you name it. Especially on the Blender market, because they are having big discounts up to 30 and 35%. If you don't know where to start, I have in the description of this video a list of the best Blender add-ons and courses that you will ever need. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. Right off the bat, we have one of the best add-ons when it comes to material libraries, and it is called Sanctus Library. Currently, the add-on has over 440 procedural materials which are easily applied to any project. Additionally, each material has adjustable parameters that allow you to customize the material's appearance to your liking. The materials are divided into various categories, ranging from buildings, floor, glass, fabric, and more. In addition to the materials, the add-on comes with a non-destructive real-time decal placement tool that can replace decals in real-time and add procedural damage to any decal, which is a great addition. It can also be used to move decals in real time and perform a variety of other tasks. As of right now, the tool has 352 images. Sanctus Library also includes a number of geometry node generators and tools that will help you accomplish a variety of tasks that will speed up your workflow. Some of these tasks include adding procedural assets and tailoring them to your needs like drawing cables, creating a brick transform, and more. Sanctus Library is great for all sorts of materials, but if you want to create close and close fabrics that look great, you probably want to check the next add-on, and it is called Simply Material. Unlike the other add-ons, it focuses solely on texturing clothing items and fabrics. With it, you can quickly and simply generate high-quality materials for a variety of use cases, such as fashion design, 3D character design, and even some architectural visualization projects. The add-on functions somewhat differently, because it works firstly by letting you select the base texture, which serves as the primary texture pattern for the material. Next, you can add a micro texture, which offers finer details at a closer range. Finally, it allows you to apply overlay textures, like folds, wrinkles, or noise, to give the material a more realistic appearance, and it also allows you to apply additional image textures, like logos or graphics. Once your clothes are styled, you can further customize the texture using a variety of settings and controls. You can change the emission, sheen, alpha, subsurface, and many other things. In addition, you can add dirt, frizzles, tearing, glitter, wearing, and so on. And this will make your fabric appear more realistic and even more believable. One more benefit of this add-on is that, once you are finished creating the material, you can easily export it to an output path of your choice thanks to its intuitive texture bake feature that lets you easily select the textures that you want to bake. But if you want an add-on that provides a variety of assets, we have True Assets. True Assets is an add-on that is widely known as one of the best tools to manage your asset browser. It has many features like fast object swapping, support for FBX and OBJ files, and integration with Ambient CG, which gives you access to a huge collection of excellent materials and SDRIs with over 1,900 assets. Additionally, True Assets offers a variety of material options, with each shader having unique controls for adjusting attributes like metallic level, subsurface scattering, roughness, color values, and more. Moreover, the kit by support of this add-on is what really sets it apart. It helps with a lot of tasks like finding collections and files, joining all the meshes for the groups, I mean to which they belong, in addition to rotating the meshes and dropping them into your library as a single mesh in addition to other stuff. True Assets is fantastic, but if you want a good library from an artist who actually does what he preaches, especially for product design, interior design, and motion design projects, you can take a look at real-time materials for Blender from Ducky 3D. It contains over 
290 procedural materials divided into tons of categories such as paint, leather, cloth, and a lot more. All the materials have high quality, and they are made based on the materials needed by 3D artists for day-to-day -day activities, so it comes with practicality in mind. The best thing about the add-on is the customization level it has. You can pretty much control and adjust everything about the material. For example, for the cloth materials, you can edit the color of each strand, in addition to changing the direction of the pattern, and you can match with the amount of color variation across the whole material in addition to other settings. Also, the procedural leather material have a long list of controls such as color variation, scale of the shape, color of the lines and shapes, and roughness. And all the other categories come with their own list of settings and controls that you can adjust to fine-tune the materials that you need. But if you want quantity and variety, I recommend Extreme PBR add-on which is known for having the largest library of materials with over 1800 materials. Although the add-on has been around for a while, it underwent development and updates in the last few years to meet all the needs of Blender users and relieve them of the burden when it comes to managing Blender nodes. These days, it has a ton of extra features that make shading and texturing inside the software much simpler, and it no longer consists of material assets. For example, you can easily texture paint between materials with any material from the library, and you also can seamlessly blend between the materials along the z-axis. To top it off, the add-on has two more materials, a realistic car paint material with metallic flakes that matches real-life textures, and an automatic animated water material that is easy to adjust. Extreme PBR also allows you to create worn edges in Cycles and Eevee and you can add realistic imperfections such as scratches and fingerprints. Talking about large libraries, let us now talk about Polyhaven, an add-on which has one of the biggest asset libraries for Blender users. It contains over a thousand assets ranging from models, SDRIs and materials, and a new asset is being added to the library almost daily. Polyhaven is known for having high quality and optimized assets, which can be utilized in any scenario. It has Enclave HDRIs, full PBR texture sets, and really well-crafted 3D models. This add-on is also special because of how simple it is, since it integrates directly within the asset browser. So all you have to do is drag and drop any asset you want to use from the asset browser into your 3D viewport, which makes it a very convenient tool. Another fantastic add-on that we are looking at today is called Materialic, and trust me, it is not less impressive. Its asset library is expanding and currently has over 370 distinct materials organized into 12 categories, including concrete, wood, metallic, in addition to other stuff. The add-on also includes a bunch of features such as texture bombing, where it ensures that no matter the area the material covers, it remains irregular and you can effortlessly swap out materials on numerous objects at once with this add-on. And you can stop worrying about having to redo the mapping whenever you make changes to the geometry because it generates the mapping automatically. Furthermore, the add-on recently received an update that included some neat features. For instance, the Blender Asset Browser is now integrated into the add-on, making it much easier to use, and you can now add height maps for concrete materials with ease. The library now also has 20 new materials and 4 new water materials. Also, the displacement is supported, and textures are now in 8K, with a material preview in high resolution, which is just fantastic. So guys, if you are interested in one of these add-ons, you will find all the necessary links in the description. I hope you found this video useful and informative. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. You can also check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.